what we're doing and what nature's doing in the same time. So we've got a baseline of data. Correct. If we see an anomaly, yeah. if we see something we, that happens that, that is not explained by natural right. forces, Frank, you have then we've got well, we, we the other uh, baseline data for you? Yeah. When, when I'll, the I'll try to simplify design goes yeah. finally, yeah. that will be public information, okay. yes. At the bridge, when the walkway goes over to the Creek Canal, whatever we're going to call it today. Yeah, Palm Creek. Palm Creek. Palm Creek. Right. There was a high water mark shot with white spray paint. I saw it Sunday afternoon. It's a high water mark. Can we base our datums from that? When we shoot the water high water mark changes with the moon cycle. So you can't really use that as moon a confidence. Moon cycle is completely different. The mm -hmm. high water is an average. Right. And it and actually is a survey data. There are survey data that we can follow. The water level is variable, but the, but the marking on the average average. is not. The mean high waterline will be a datum that is actually surveyed. On this survey, you'll see a mean high high waterline and a mean low low the waterline. The marks are shot for the tubs to come in and out and the barges. I know that, and that's, that's not good. Can we base the water um, depth that we're going to monitor on the east and west side of that creek? We've already taken that back in the tree. We have the more outside. detailed information here. That's fine. But you could just correlate <laughs> that, that data with right. that Right, exactly. If, if we That's get fine. we could get that elevation, then you can use so that. So you have the elevation, so let me show it. It's there, and it's for the tug guys. So the tug guys can tell us what that okay, elevation is. Okay, well, it was done yes. part of this operation. Let me ask you a question for all of you. Uh, Brian, you had mentioned earlier that you might have a fact sheet for us tonight. Would that be included in the fact sheet? You know? No, not no, 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 no. It's okay. more of a... Uh, the work, how we got this point. Okay. Thank you. Anybody else? Mike, did you have another question? Yeah, uh, you said the island was going to be at the base surrounded with cement blocks. Is that what you said? It's similar to a cement block. It's um, a blanket that has structure of cement that can be this back filled with soil in the middle and little holes in the center that can be then planted. So it's a blanket that provides structure on the slope that stabilizes the shoreline, and then you can plant it. Only in certain areas. Only in certain areas. We're using large stone in a lot of the steeps, the steepest areas we're using the large stone, the armor stone. And then the shallower areas we're using that bl those concrete blankets. And it's going to surround the complete island? There's only a few locations that we're not touching. And it's because they're very stable as it is, that they have very shallow grade that's already vegetated, and there's no no waste being exposed. And there's no way that there's going to be any kind of runoff or sand and come down when it rains and funnel through this these areas. This will really help protect that. This will shore, shore the whole shoreline up so that you're not going to get any erosion from above or from wave action. Okay. What other questions? I, I think it's just important just to keep in, in mind that what we're doing may not solve every problem, but it's going to vastly improve the over, it would be a vast improvement over current conditions. So, I don't, and unfortunately we can't solve every problem, but this project really stands to be a vast improvement in the stabilization of that edge, the reduction in stuff going off into the water. So, I think this is really I have positive. one other question. The cement that you're using, this uh, salt water won't affect this is cement? This is a coastal application, correct. This has been approved for a coastal application. And it shouldn't be visible in time as the vegetation right. grows in. Yes. It, Become visible to the eye. Yeah. So, if we detect it, sorry, that's right. Um, so, what's going to happen but with the existing sandbag, the failing sandbag technique that's in place today? Is that going to stay? It's going to stay, and we're building over it. Because okay. we don't want to, if we so start ripping out sandbags, we could potentially expose something. Understood. This goes back to a question posed probably four or five meetings ago no additional encroachment on the current waterway. So now, no, that's that's not necessarily true. We are doing. We are going to be impacting below the mean high water line um, through disturbance of installing our rock and installing a tow protection. But we're mitigating for that with the plan. So if we disturb something, we'll be creating something. And, and also, just take it a step further. Yeah. Let's just say this is what we're proposing. We still have to go through fund. Exactly. So still has to be approved by DEC. <laughs> but that, as far as what we're going to be proposing in our next submission for DEC. Okay. So, so, but we're not looking to. You know, we're not looking to build out 
all sections. Okay. Just, just enough to get a stable slope, right. have our toe protection to further support the shoreline. Right, so it doesn't under Correct. And okay. the reason is that we don't want to start, the reason we're doing that is almost because the only other option is to build into that, but you want to do that because you don't, <coughs> don't want to disturb it, right? You so don't you want to keep it as minimal as possible. And, uh, and to keep everything in place and just place it over it. To right. So, so you're referencing this material at the mean high tide line, or or above? No, it's it actually goes down to the beach. We're building all the way from the beach up to the top of the bank. We're improving that whole shoreline. So that's where the majority. If you have you'll have your tow protection at the on um, on the beach surface and some potential some salt marsh intrusion. So that's where we have to mitigate by creating salt marsh in other places. Because the toe comes out far enough to get that stable slope. Michael? The, the areas on the shoreline where these sand eggs are now, and some areas that you would use this rock, there's a lot of glass and debris that has washed out from those areas. Uh, is that going to be cleaned up, or are you going to cover it over with sand? And if you are going to cover it over with sand, is that likely that that glass is going to work to the top of it? If it's, I mean, we don't have plans to go through all the beach areas and clean out all the sand. I mean, that's, uh, we're trying to disturb as little as possible, especially when we get down to, to that layer. So I uh, just went in, took the cover, and then filling it, which would be a definite no. So at this point, no, we don't have plans to go through the beach areas and start cleaning that place. So basically, we'll leave the 